Welcome to the most racist comic book moment, as chosen by me. This video was ripped off that, I mean, inspired from the Cracked article. A link is in the description if you want to check out an absolute avalanche of some of your most beloved comic book characters hurling racial slurs in every direction. So now, let's get to this. We all know Batman is the greatest detective of all time, but how does his great detective mind deduce who the bad guys are? Well, in this instance, we get a glimpse of that. Little men, you've had a busy day. <clears throat> this is the end of the line for you. Happy landings! <clears throat> You're amazing! Amazing! How could you ever have guessed that I needed help? Who are you? Well, sir, when Batman sees African pygmies walking on top of a railroad car, it means something queer is going on. And that means I'm investigating. Um... Yeah, that's actually called racial profiling, Batman. They could have just been like workers for the railroad or something. But Batman's flexible morals when it comes to race doesn't just involve his judgement as a detective. Let's take a look at how Batman conducts himself on a trip to the Orient. As the attacking Chinese dash across the floor, the dynamic Batman leaps towards the green dragon, grimly braces himself, and with a supreme effort, manages to topple the enormous idol off balance. The idol of the green dragon kills its own! Yeah, apparently his rule not to kill anybody doesn't really count if he is dealing with Chinese people. Shame on you, Batman! Hang your head in shame! Preferably not Native American blackface shame, because that would kind of be just as bad. But surely our beloved Superman shows no signs of prejudice. I mean, after all, he even owns a machine that can turn his girlfriend black for a day. Are you sure you want to go through with this, Lois? Yes, Superman. Close the body mold and switch the power on. It's important that I live the next 24 hours as a black woman. Title, I am curious. Black. I'm not really sure what to make of this. Just know that it is a thing. Anyway, apart from Superman's being in one of the most infamously racist comic book panels in history, telling you to slap a Jap, he also does some extremely shady maneuvers in this comic, where he is faced with a corrupt real estate mogul obsessed with land who wants to take over the city. My god, it's a villain the likes of which Superman has never faced before. But the big difference here is this is a Native American landowner, and he's using the fact that the tribe that he descends from used to live on the land that the city is now built on as an excuse to get possession of all of the property. So what does Batman do? He opts to travel back in time to meet this guy's original descendants to steal their native land away from them. Metropolis Island in 1644. Now I find the Indian tribe which owns this island. Who is the chief now? I have to find out so that I can legally sell this land to the white man. Seriously, Superman? That's really not cool, dude. I mean, what, are you going to give him blankets infected with smallpox next? What the hell's wrong with you? But by far the worst offenders has to be the Young Allies. These guys were basically a team made up of sidekicks of the sidekicks, and everything about them is wrong. Especially their depiction and treatment of the only coloured member of the team called Whitewash Jones. Yeah, even the name itself is dripping with contempt. Someday you's all gonna listen to and stay close to where you can get some fried chicken and watermelons when you want it. Nine? Ten? Hey, I've only got ten fingers. How can I count up to fifty? Take off your shoes. <laughs> <sighs> This is a character that even David Duke would find offensive. And if that wasn't bad enough, how about one of the team casually calling for the ritualistic suicide of an entire nation of people? In this particular issue, just after they escape from a villainous Japanese stereotype, their former captor kills himself to avoid the dishonor of having let the enemy escape. On seeing this, the boys remark, Holy smoke! Look down there! What's he doing? That's Harikari! Japs do that when they disgrace themselves and lose face! Hmm, the whole race oughta do it then! <laughs> wow. 
Congratulations, young allies. You are a disgrace to everything that has ever existed in every way possible. Fellows, look, that must be Tokyo. Hot diggity, a whole city full of Japs to go to work on. So thanks for watching, and if you didn't know, Watch Mojo is actually putting together a list of the top 10 comic book YouTube channels. So if you're a fan of my videos, and even if you're not, please, 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 click on the link in the description and go and vote for me on that list. Uh, you do have to log into the site before it will actually let you vote, but it's, it's pretty easy and they give you the option to either log in through your Facebook account or through your email. So if you could do that, I would be eternally grateful because it would be so awesome to be featured in that list and I would be very thankful. So, I am Bandit, this is Bandit Incorporated and until next time, I will see you guys in the comments.